systems downloaded from www. Terrestrial ecosystems downloaded from The interrelations between organisms and environment on the land constitute terrestrial ecology. Due to variation in the topographic features of valleys, mountains and slopes, certain differences occur. These differences are reflected in both the material and biotic diversities. Altitudinal and latitudinal variations cause shifts and differences in the climatic patterns. Due to varied climate, the plant and animal life existing in different terrestrial areas vary which result in differentiation of ecosystem as segments within the large biosphere. The most important limiting factors of the terrestrial ecosystems are moisture and temperature. Barren land, since they are found where environmental conditions are very severe. There, there are two types, types of tundra, tundra Arctic and Alpine. Time distribution Arctic tundra extends as a continuous belt below the polar ice cap and above the tree line in the northern hemisphere. It occupies the northern fringe of Canada, Alaska, European Russia, Siberia, and island group of Arctic Ocean. On the South Pole, Tundra is very small since most of it is covered by ocean. Alpine tundra occurs at high mountains above the with respect to Arctic mountains are found at all latitudes therefore alpine tundra shows day and night temperature variations. Times flora and fauna, typical vegetation of Arctic tundra is cotton grass, sedges, dwarf heath, willows, birches and lichens. Animals of tundra are reindeer, musk ox, arctic hurry, caribous, lemmings and squirrel. Most of them have long life e.g. arctic willow has a lifespan of 150 to 300 years. They are protected from chillness by the presence of thick cuticle and epidermal hair. Mammals of the tundra region have large body size, small tail and small ear to avoid the loss of heat from the surface. The body is covered with fur for insulation. Insects have short life cycles which are completed during favorable period of the year. 3.2 Forest Ecosystem The forest ecosystem includes a complex assemblage of different kinds of biotic communities. Optimum conditions such as temperature and ground moisture are responsible for the establishment of forest communities. The nature of soil, climate and local topography determine the distribution of trees and their abundance in the forest vegetation. Forests may be evergreen or deciduous. They are distinguished on the basis of leaf into broadleaf or needle-leafed coniferous forests in the case of temperate areas. The forest ecosystems have been classified into three major categories, coniferous forest, temperate forest and tropical forest. All these forest biomes are generally arranged on a gradient from north to south latitude or from high to lower altitude. Do you know? Dart frogs got their name because hunters would tip their arrows in the frogs' poisons. Sadly, because people are cutting down rainforests for farming and ranching, poison dart frogs are at risk. The blue poison dart frog is the most endangered due to the pet shop market. 3 to 1 coniferous forest, boreal forest times cold regions with high rainfall, strong seasonal climates with long winters and short summers are characterized by boreal coniferous forest. This is characterized by evergreen plant species such as spruce, fir and pine trees, etc. and by animals such as the lynx, wolf, bear, red fox, porcupine, squirrel, and amphibians like hyla, runner, 
etc. Times boreal forest soils are characterized by thin podzoles and are rather poor. Both because the weathering of rocks proceeds slowly in cold environments and because the litter derived from conifer needle leaf is decomposed very slowly and is not rich in nutrients. Times these soils are acidic and are mineral deficient. This is due to movement of large amount of water through the soil without a significant counter upward movement of evaporation, essential soluble nutrients like calcium, nitrogen and potassium which are leached sometimes beyond the reach of roots. This process leaves no alkaline oriented caissons to encounter the organic acids of the accumulating litter. Times the productivity and community stability of a boreal forest are lower than those of any other forest ecosystem. 3 to 2 temperate deciduous forest times the temperate forests are characterized by a moderate climate and broadleaf deciduous trees which shed their leaves in fall are bare over winter and grow new foliage in the spring times the precipitation is fairly uniform throughout times soils of temperate forests are podzolic and fairly deep 3 to 3 temperate evergreen forest times parts of the world that have mediterranean type of climate are characterized by warm dry summers and cool, moist winters. Times these are commonly inhabited by low broad-leafed evergreen trees. Times fire is an important hazardous factor in this ecosystem and the adaptation of the plants enable them to regenerate quickly after being burnt. Do you know? Penguins are warm-blooded, just like whales. Penguins have a layer of fat under their skin called blubber. Over top of this they are covered with fluffy, down, feathers and over top of those they have their outer feathers which overlap to seal in warmth. Penguins rub oil from a gland onto their feathers to help make them waterproof and windproof. 3 to 4 temperate rainforests times the temperate rainforests exhibit a marked seasonality with regard to temperature and rainfall. Times rainfall is high and fog may be very heavy. It is the important source of water than rainfall itself. Times the biotic diversity of temperate rainforests is high as compared to other temperate forests. However, the diversity of plants and animals is much low as compared to the tropical rainforest. Do you know? Frogs' tongues are attached to the front of their mouths rather than at the back like humans. When a frog catches an insect it throws its sticky tongue out of its mouth and wraps it around its prey. The frog's tongue then snaps back and throws the food down its throat. 3 to 5 tropical rainforests times tropical rainforests occur near the equator times tropical rainforests are among the most diverse and rich communities on the earth times both temperature and humidity remain high and more or less uniform times the annual rainfall exceeds 200 centimeters and is generally distributed throughout the year times the flora is highly diversified times the extreme dense vegetation of the tropical rainforests remains vertically stratified with tall trees often covered with vines, creepers, lianas, epiphytic orchids and bromeliads. Times the lowest layer is an understory of trees, shrubs, herbs, like ferns and palms. Times soil of tropical rainforests are red lato soles, and they are very thick. Times the high rate of leaching makes these soils virtually useless for agricultural purposes, but when left undisturbed, the rapid cycling of nutrients within the litter layer, formed due to decomposition can compensate for the natural poverty of the soil. Times undergrowth is restricted in many areas by the lack of sunlight at ground level. Tropical seasonal forests. Times tropical seasonal forests, also known as monsoon forests, occur in regions where total annual rainfall is very high but segregated into pronounced wet and dry periods. Times this kind of forest is found in Southeast Asia, Central and South America, Northern Australia, Western Africa, and tropical islands of the Pacific as well as in India. Three to seven subtropical rainforests. Times broadleaved evergreen subtropical rainforests are found in regions of fairly high rainfall but less temperature differences between winter and summer times epiphytes are common here. 
Time's animal life of subtropical forest is very similar to that of tropical rainforests. 3.3 Indian forest types India has a diverse range of forests from the rainforest of Kerala in the south to the alpine pastures of Ladakh in the north, from the deserts of Rajasthan in the west to the evergreen forests in the northeast. Climate, soil type, topography, and elevation are the main factors that determine the type of forest. Forests vary according to their nature and composition, the type of climate in which they thrive, and its relationship with the surrounding environment. Champion and Sikh classification of forest forest types in India are classified by Champion and Sikh into 16 types. Three treatment tropical wet evergreen forests wet evergreen forests are found along the Western Ghats, the Nicobar and Andaman Islands and all along the Northeastern region. It is characterized by tall, straight evergreen trees. The more common trees that are found here are the jackfruit, Betel nut palm, jamun, mango, and hollock. The trees in this forest form a tear pattern, shrubs cover the layer closer to the ground, followed by the short structure trees and then the tall variety. Beautiful fern of various colors and different varieties of orchids grow on the trunks of the trees. 332 tropical semi evergreen forests semi evergreen forests are found in the western Ghats, Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the eastern Himalayas. Such forests have a mixture of the wet evergreen trees and the moist deciduous trees. The forest is dense and is filled with a large variety of trees of both types. Do you know? Elephants ears act as cooling devices. They can measure up to two square meters and they are equipped with an intricate web of blood vessels. When the animal flaps its ears, the blood temperature lowers by as much as five degrees Celsius. 333 Tropical Moist Deciduous Forests Moist deciduous forests are found throughout India except in the western and the northwestern regions. The trees are tall, have broad trunks, branching trunks and roots to hold them firmly to the ground. Some of the taller trees shed their leaves in the dry season. There is a layer of shorter trees and evergreen shrubs in the undergrowth. These forests are dominated by sal and teak, along with mango, bamboo, and rosewood. 334 littoral and swamp littoral and swamp forests are found along the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the delta area of the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. They have roots that consist of soft tissue so that the plant can breathe in the water. 335 tropical dry deciduous forest dry deciduous forests are found throughout the northern part of the country except in the northeast. It is also found in Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. The canopy of the trees does not normally exceed 25 meters. The common trees are the sal, a variety of acacia, and bamboo. 336 tropical corn forests this type is found in areas with black soil, north, west, central, and south India. The trees do not grow beyond 10 meters. Spurge, caper, and cactus are typical of this region. 337 Tropical Dry Evergreen Forest Dry Evergreens are found along Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka coast. It is mainly hard-leaved evergreen trees with fragrant flowers, along with a few deciduous trees. 338 Subtropical Broad-leaved Forests Broad-leaved forests are found in the eastern Himalayas and the western Ghats, along the Silent Valley. There is a marked difference in the form of vegetation in the two areas. In the Silent Valley, the Pools Park, Cinnamon, row down look. Dodendron, Dodendron and fragrant grass, grass, grass are predominant. In the eastern Himalayas, the flora has been badly affected by the shifting cultivation and forest fires. These wet forests consist mainly of evergreen trees with the sprinkling of deciduous here and there. There are oak, alder, chestnut, birch, and cherry trees. There are a large variety of orchids, bamboo and creepers. 339 Subtropical Pine Forests Pine forests are found in the steep dry slopes of the Shivalik Hills, Western and Central Himalayas, Vasi, Naga, and Manipur Hills. The trees predominantly found in these areas are the chee, 
oak, rhododendron, and pine as well as sal, umla, and labanum are found in the lower regions. 3310 Subtropical dry evergreen forests Dry evergreen forests normally have a prolonged hot and dry season and a cold winter. It generally has evergreen trees with shining leaves that have a varnished look. These forests are found in the Shivalik hills and foothills of the Himalayas up to a height of 1000 meters. 331 Montane wet temperate forests in the north. Montane wet temperate forests are found in the region to the east of Nepal into Arunachal Pradesh receiving a minimum rainfall of 2,000 mm. In the north, there are three layers of forests. The higher layer has mainly coniferous. The middle layer has deciduous trees such as the oak and the lowest layer is covered by rhododendron and champa. In the south, it is found in parts of the Niligiri Hills, the higher reaches of Kerala. The forests in the northern region are denser than in the south. Rhododendrons and a variety of ground flora can be found here. 3312 Himalayan moist temperate forest do you know? All birds have feathers and feathers do many jobs for birds. It keeps them warm, wing feathers allow flight and tail feathers are used for steering. The color of the feathers can be used to hide the bird or to help the bird find a mate. This type spreads from the western Himalayas to the eastern Himalayas. The trees found in the western section are broadleaved oak, brown oak, walnut, rhododendron, etc. In the eastern Himalayas, the rainfall is much heavier and therefore the vegetation is also more lush and dense. There are a large variety of broadleaved trees, ferns, and bamboo. Coniferous trees are also found here, some of the varieties being different from the ones found in the south. 3313 Himalayan dry temperate forest this type is found in Lahul, Kinno, Sikkim, and other parts of the Himalayas. There are predominantly coniferous trees, along with broadleaf trees such as the oak, maple, and ash. At higher elevation, fir, juniper, deoda, and chilgoja are found. 3314 Subalpine Forest Subalpine forests extend from Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh between 2,900 to 3,500 meters. In the western Himalayas, the vegetation consists mainly of juniper, rhododendron, willow, and black currant. In the eastern parts, red fir, black juniper, birch, and larch are the common trees. Due to heavy rainfall and high humidity the timberline in this part is higher than that in the west. Rhododendron of many species covers the hills in these parts. 3315 Moist Alpine Scrub Moist Alpines are found all along the Himalayas and on the higher hills near the Myanmar border. It has a low scrub, dense evergreen forest, consisting mainly of rhododendron and birch. Mosses and ferns cover the ground in patches. This region receives heavy snowfall. 3316 Dry Alpine Scrub Dry Alpines are found from about 3000 meters to about 4900 meters. Dwarf plants predominate, mainly the black juniper, the drooping juniper, honeysuckle, and willow. Importance of forest from air we breathe. The food we eat to the paper and wood we use, we depend on forest directly or indirectly. Without forests most of the areas would have been deserts times forests keep up the natural balance. Times forests purify the air times forests provide microclimate times forests indirectly play a role in precipitation times forests prevent floods times forests prevent soil erosion times forests provide medicinal properties times forests provide us fuel and timber times forests provide raw materials for industries downloaded from www. Deforestation is discriminate felling of trees as a result of urbanization, industrialization, mining operations, and use of wood for domestic and other purposes, have caused heavy depletion of forests. Causes of deforestation 3 4 1 causes 1. Shifting cultivation. Causes of deforestation. Fuel wood, development project, industry, and uh, overgrazing. Agriculture. 
Poses one. one. Shifting, Shifting cultivation, cultivation times. times in this practice, the patch of land is cleared. Vegetation is burned and the ash is mixed with the soil, thus adding nutrients to the soil. Times this patch of land is used for raising crops for two to three years, and the yield is modest. Times then this area is abandoned and is left to recover its fertility, and the same practice is repeated elsewhere on a fresh piece of land. Times all that is required for this method of cultivation is a set of simple tools, not high level, high level mechanization. Mechanization. To, to develop project, project, project times, times the human population have increased considerably, so with their requirements. Do you know? Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that raise their body temperature by lying in the sun or lower it by crawling into the shade. Their body temperature changes to the temperature of its surroundings. Times development projects like the hydroelectric projects, large dams and reservoirs, Laying down of railway lines and roads are not only extremely beneficial, but they are also linked with several environmental problems. Times many of these projects require immense deforestation. 3. Fuel requirements times the increasing demand for firewood with ever-growing population increases greater pressure on the forests, which results in increased intensity of deforestation. 4. Raw material requirements times wood is used as a raw material by various industries for making paper, plywood, furniture, matchsticks, boxes, crates, packing cases, etc. Times industries also obtain their raw materials from plants such as drugs, scents and perfumes, resin, gums, waxes, turpentine, latex and rubber, thunnis, alkaloids, beeswax, Times this exerted tremendous pressure on forest ecosystem and their unrestricted exploitation for various other raw materials is the main cause of degradation of the forest ecosystem. 5. Other causes times deforestation also results from overgrazing, agriculture, mining, urbanization, flood, fire, pest, diseases, defense and communication activities. 3rd April 2002 How it affects Times closed forests, based on canopy level, have been diminished due to deforestation leading to increase in degraded forests. Times forests recycle moisture from soil into their immediate atmosphere by transpiration where it again precipitates as rain. Times deforestation results in an immediate lowering of ground water level and in long term reduction of precipitation. Times due to deforestation, this natural reuse cycle is broken and water is lost through rapid runoff. Times much of the mining activity in India is being carried out in forest regions. The obvious result is deforestation and soil erosion. Times underground mining has also significantly denuded forests, as timber is used for supporting the roofs of mine galleries. Times a large number of abandoned mines are lying in bad shape and are under extensive gully erosion leading to degradation of the habitat. Downloaded from www.upskmaterials.com Deforestation, Deforestation affects, affects the biota, the biota and, and neighboring ecosystems, soil erosion, land degradation, alteration of groundwater channels, pollution and scares. 3.5 Grassland Ecosystem The grasslands are found where rainfall is about 25 to 75 cm per year, not enough to support a forest, but more than that of a true desert. Typical, Typical grasslands, grasslands are vegetation, are vegetation formations are that are generally found in temperate climates. In India, they are found mainly in the high Himalayas. The rest of India's grasslands are mainly composed of steppes and savannas. The major difference between steppes and savannas is that all the forage in the steppe is provided only during the brief wet season whereas in the savannas forage is largely from grasses that not only grow during the wet season but also from the smaller amount of regrowth in the dry season. Steppe formations occupy large areas of sandy and saline soil in western Rajasthan where the climate is semi-arid, average rainfall is less than 200 mm a year with the dry season of 10 to 11 months, and a large variation in rainfall. The soil is always exposed, sometimes rocky but more often sandy with fixed or mobile dunes. Forage is available only during the brief wet season. 
The grass layer is sparse and consists mainly of annual grass species. In the central and eastern parts of Rajasthan, where the rainfall is about 500 mm per year and the dry season is of 6 to 8 months, dry savanne grazing ecosystems have developed. The light shade cast by the sparse population of trees like K tree favors the growth of the grasses. 351 types of grasslands based on climatic conditions there are six types of grasslands found in the different regions of the Indian subcontinent. Four major types of grasslands are discussed here. Do you know? The elephant's trunk combines both nose and upper lip and transforms them into a single powerful organ that is able to touch, grasp and smell. It is strong enough to uproot a tree, sensitive enough to pick up a pea-sized fruit from the ground, and long enough to reach foliage high in the trees. The trunk is also used to drink by sucking up water and squirting it into the mouth. Grassland types of India 1, semi-arid zone times it covers the northern portion of Gujarat, Rajasthan, excluding Aravalis, western Uttar Pradesh, Delhi and Punjab. Times the topography is broken up by hill spurs and sand dunes. 2. Dry sub-humid zone times it covers the whole of peninsula India, except Nilgiri. 3. Moist sub-humid zone times it covers the Ganga alluvial plain in northern India. Times the topography is level, low-lying and ill-drained. 4. Humid montane regions times this extends to the humid montane regions and moist sub-humid areas of Assam, Manipur, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir. Times the savanne is derived from the humid forests on account of shifting cultivation and sheep grazing. 352 Economic importance of grasslands times India teams with animals of all shapes and sizes from the buffaloes to sheep and there are millions of them. Downloaded from www.upskmaterial.com This is grassland types of India. Mixed zone, that is, mixed zone in Uttar Pradesh, Western Bengal, and uh, there is a uh, temperature around. Temperature, we can see this is temperature around. semi arid zone moist set humid zone humid mountain region economic importance of grasslands The livestock wealth plays a crucial, crucial role in Indian life. It is a major source of fuel, drought power, nutrition and raw material for village industries. Times but only about 13 million hectares in the country are classified as permanent grazing lands. On top of it, they exist in a highly degraded state. Times grassland biomes are important to maintain the population of many domesticated and wild herbivores. Times Indian Grasslands and Fodder Research Institute, Dasi and Central Arid Zone Research Institute, Jodhpur. 353 Impact of Grazing Times Due to heavy grazing pressure, the quality of grasslands deteriorates rapidly, the mulch cover of the soil reduces, microclimate becomes more dry and is readily invaded by xerophytic plants and borrowing animals. Times due to absence of humus cover, mineral soil surface is heavily trampled, when wet it produces puddling of the surface layer. In turn it reduces the infiltration of water into the soil and accelerates runoff, resulting in soft erosion. Times these changes contribute to the reduction of energy flow and the disruption of the stratification and periodicity of the primary producers. It results in a breakdown of the biogeochemical cycles of water, carbon and nitrogen. Times water and wind erosion completely deteriorates dry grassland microclimate. 3rd May 2004 Role of Fire Times Fire plays an important role in the management of grasslands. Times under moist conditions fire favors grass over trees, 
whereas in dry conditions fire is often necessary to maintain grasslands against the invasion of desert shrubs. Times burning increases the forage yields. 3.6 Desert Ecosystem Times Deserts are formed in regions with less than 25 cm of annual rainfall, or sometimes in hot regions where there is more rainfall, but unevenly distributed in the annual cycle. Times lack of rain in the mid-latitude is often due to stable high-pressure zones, deserts in temperate regions often lie in rain shadows, that is, where high mountains block off moisture from the seas. Times the climate of these biomes is modified by altitude and latitude. At high altitudes and at greater distance from the equator the deserts are cold and hot near equator and tropics. Times the perennial plant like creosote bush, cactus are scattered throughout the desert biomes. Times in shallow depressed areas with salt deposits geesewood, seepwood and salt grasses are common. Do you know? Sri Venkateshwara Zoological Park located in Tirupati city in Andhra Pradesh is the largest zoo in the country. Times because water is the dominant limiting factor, the productivity of a given desert is almost directly dependent on the rainfall. Where soils are suitable, irrigation can convert deserts into productive agricultural land. Times as the large volume of water passes through the irrigation system, Salts may be left behind that will gradually accumulate over the years until they become limiting, unless means of avoiding this difficulty are devised. Do you know? Polar bears are very well adapted to swimming, with the water repellent coat and partially webbed feet. 367 Adaptations Desert plants are under hot and dry conditions. I. These plants conserve water by following methods, times they are mostly shrubs. Times leaves are absent or reduced in size. Times leaves and stem are succulent and water storing. Times in some plants even the stem contains chlorophyll for photosynthesis. Times root system is well developed and spread over large area. The annuals wherever present germinate, bloom and reproduce only during the short rainy season and not in summer and winter. This is an adaption to desert condition. Downloaded from W. The, the animals, animals are, are physiologically and behaviorally adapted to desert conditions times they are fast runners. Times they are nocturnal in habit to avoid the sun's heat during daytime. Times they conserve water by excreting concentrated urine. Times animals and birds usually have long legs to keep the body away from the hot ground. Times lizards are mostly insectivorous and can live without drinking water for several days. Times herbivorous animals get sufficient water from the seeds which they eat. Times, Times can be known as the ship of the desert as it can travel long distances without drinking water for several days. Times mammals as a group are poorly adapted to deserts but some species have become secondarily adapted. A few species of nocturnal rodents can live in the desert without drinking water. 362 Indian Desert Thar Desert, Hot Times the climate of this region is characterized by excessive drought, the rainfall being scanty and irregular. Times the winter rains of northern India rarely penetrate into the region. Times November to March is characterized by extreme variations of temperature and the temperature is frequently below freezing point at night. Times during April to June the heat are intense, frequent scorching winds prevail with great desiccating. Times the relative humidity of the atmosphere is always low. Times the climate is hostile to all vegetation, only plants and animals possessing special adaptations being able to establish themselves. A. Flora The proper desert plants may be divided into two main groups. I. Depending directly upon on rain and two, those depending on the presence of subterranean water. The first group consists of two types. Times depending directly upon on the rain are of two types, the ephanerals and the rain perennials. Times the ephanerals are delicate annuals, apparently free from any xerophilus adaptations, having slender stems and root systems and often large flowers. They appear almost immediately after rain, develop flowers and fruits in an incredibly short time, and die as soon as the surface layer of the soil dries up. 
times the rain perennials are visible above the ground only during the rainy season, but have a perennial underground stem. Times the second group, depending on the presence of subterranean water times by far the largest number of indigenous plants are capable of absorbing water from deep below the surface of the ground by means of a well-developed root system, the main part of which generally consists of a slender, woody tap root of extraordinary length. Times generally, various other xerophilus adaptations are resorted to such as reduced leaves, thick hairy growth, succulents, coatings of wax, thick cuticle, protected stomata, etc., all having for their object of reduction of transpiration. b. For now times it is home to some of India's most magnificent grasslands and sanctuary for the great Indian bustard. Times among the mammal, the black buck, wild ass, chinkara, caracal, sand grouse and desert fox inhabit the open plains, grasslands, and saline depressions. Times the nesting ground of flamingos and the only known population of Asiatic wild ass lies in the remote part of Great Runna, Gujarat. Times it is the migration flyway used by cranes and flamingos. Do you know? According to Global Forest Resource Assessment Report, Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, 2005, India ranks among the top 10 countries in terms of forest area. India has 1.8% of the global forest area with per capita forests of 0.08 ha. 3rd June 2003 Cold Desert Temperate Desert Cold Desert of India include areas of Ladakh, Leh and Kargil of Kashmir and Spiti Valley of Himachal Pradesh and some parts of northern Uttaranchal and Sikkim. These arid areas are not affected by the Indian monsoons because they lie in the rain shadow of the Himalayan mountain systems. Characterized by extreme cold weather and denuded terrain they are not suitable for plant growth. Isolated, SCAT downloaded from www.upskmaterials Buried and shrubs are found. Grazing period is less than three to four months. Three six four characters times severe arid conditions. Dry atmosphere times temperature less than zero degree C for most of the period. Drops to fifty degree during winter. winter. Times times insignificant monsoon. monsoon. Mean and annual rainfall less than four hundred millimeters times heavy snowfall occurs between November and March. Times soil type. Sandy to sandy loam times soil pH, neutral to slight alkaline. Times soil nutrient, poor organic matter content times soil has low water retention capacity. Times wind erosion is more common. Times narrow growing period, mostly during the summer. Times due to aforesaid extreme cold conditions, growth of vegetation is slow and of slanted nature. Biodiversity times cold desert is the home of highly adaptive, rare endangered fauna, such as Asiatic Ibex, Tibetan Argali, Ladakh Uriel, Varal, Tibetan Antelope, Chiru, Tibetan Gazelle, Wild Yak, No Leopard, Brown Bear, Tibetan Wolf, Wild Dog and Tibetan Wild Ass, Kian, a close relative of the Indian Wild Ass, Woolly Hurray, Black Neck Crane, etc. times cold desert comprises of alpine mesophytes and desert vegetation times dry temperature zone, Betula, Sulix, Juniperus. Times Alfin Zone, Junipers, Birch, Rhododendron with grasses. Times Perpetual Snow Zone, no vegetation due to permanently frozen soil. Times Oak, Pine, Deoda, Birch and Rhododendron are the important trees. 3.7 Desertification It is the destruction of biological potential of the land which can ultimately lead to desert-like conditions. In arid and semi-arid regions, the restoration of the fragile ecosystem is very slow, and issues like deforestation, mining enhances the desertification. Desertification is a main problem faced by desert adjoining areas, which stretches across parts of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Punjab and Haryana. The cause of this process is not climatic changes, droughts, etc. but human actions. 
causes times population pressure times increase in cattle population, overgrazing times increase agriculture times development activities times deforestation 3rd July 2001. Status of Indian Desertification as per the Desertification and Land Degradation Atlas of India, 2007, the percentage of country under dry lands is 69.6%. The total area undergoing the process of land degradation in India is 105.48 million hectares, which constitutes 32.07 percentage of India's total land area. 81.45 million hectares area of the country is under desertification, land degradation within drillands. Control measures India is a signatory to United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification, UNT. The National Action Programme for Combating Desertification was prepared in 2001 to take appropriate action in addressing the problems of desertification. Some of the major programmes currently implemented that address issues related to land degradation and desertification are Times Integrated Watershed Management Programme Times National Afforestation Programme Times National Mission for Green India Times The Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme Times Soil Conservation in the Catchment of River Valley Project and Flood Prone River Times National Watershed Development Project for Rainfed Areas Times Desert Development Programme Times Fodder and Feed development scheme component of grassland development including grass reserves, command area development and water management program etc. 3rd July 2002. Afforestation times the desert regions of Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana, Punjab and Trans Himalayan regions are in scarce of vegetation. People require fire, firewood, timber and fodder for their domestic consumptions and livestock. Time's presence of vegetation prevents the soil erosion and modifies the hostile climate. Time's thus desert afforestation is inevitable in order to modify the climate, desertification and to meet the demands of people living in that region. 3.8 Indian State of Forest Report 2017 Times State of Forests report is published by the Forest Survey of India, FSI, on a biennial basis since 1987. Times the India State of Forest report 2017 is the 15th report in the series. It is based on interpretation of this three sensor data of indigenous resources are two satellite. The satellite data interpretation is followed by extensive and rigorous ground truthing. Times the total forest and tree cover is 24.39% of the total geographical area. Forest and tree cover of the country has increased by 8,021 SQU km, 1%, as compared to the assessment of 2015. The very dense forest, VDF, has increased by 1.36% as compared to the last assessment. VDF absorbs maximum carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Times Madhya Pradesh has the largest forest cover in the country, followed by Arunachal Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. Times Mizoram, with 88.93% of forest cover has the highest forest cover in percentage terms, followed by Lakshadweep with 84.56%. The East 2015 states that 15 states union territories have above 33% of the geographical area under forest cover. Times out of these, seven states union territories Mizoram, Lakshadweep, Andaman and Nicobar Island, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Meghalaya and Manipur have more than 75% forest cover, while eight states Tripura, Goa, Sikkim, Kerala, Uttarakhand, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Chhattisgarh and Assam have forest cover is between 33% to 75%. Times. India is ranked 10th in the world in forest cover, with 24.39% of land area under forest and tree cover. Times as per the FAO report, India is placed 8th in the list of top 10 nations reporting the greatest annual net gain in the forest area. Do you know? Spider silk is possibly the strongest material in the world. Scientists believe that if they gathered the same weight of spider web as a piece of steel, 
the web would be much stronger than the steel. As hard as scientists try, they cannot match or copy the silk. Downloaded from www.upskmaterials.com